Hello YouTube, this is Ryan and I'm a developer of AutoPad and in this video I'm super excited to show you how to use AutoPad 1.9 inside of your main stage concerts on Mac OS. This is a brand new feature in AutoPad 1.9 and I'm really excited about it. It's really easy to get set up and I think you guys are going to like this. So um, I'm just going to show you the basics today. It is um, you know, I'm not by any means a main stage expert. So if you have questions about like MIDI routing or stuff like that, you probably get better mileage out of like searching those on YouTube. But I'm just going to show you today how to get it set up and get you give you some ideas about how to get it working inside of your own main stage setup. So I've got main stage open here, and I'm just going to choose this basic keyboard template and I'm going to hit choose. Now, now that it's open, uh, I can see on the right side there's this whole channel strips region and I want to be able to use AutoPad so I got to add a channel. I'm going to just right click in this area and I'm going to click on add channel strip. I'm going to hit Software Instrument and Create. And I can see that I have this new column appearing, which is Instrument 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this gray bar that says Instrument. And I'm going to scroll, well, the first time you do this, AutoPad won't be any recents. I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I'm going to go to AU Instruments. And AutoPad is going to be under Audio Symmetric. So let's click on AutoPad and load it up. And we can see here that its window is right here, living inside of main stage. Super easy. We can just click on a button to start a pad. So I also have setlist mode over here, and what I'm going to show you today is how to use AutoPad's MIDI controls while you're performing to control your setlist. So I do have a MIDI keyboard attached, and I'm going to come over here to the menu, and I'm going to go down to this MIDI Actions panel. MIDI Actions is a new feature in AutoPad 1.9, and I've got another video where I talk about getting those set up. But you'll notice that I have these four setlist mode actions. Right now, the start setlist action corresponds to MIDI note 48, and the stop setlist action corresponds to MIDI note 49. I have also an advance action that just cycles through the setlist, and I have a play song action which starts at MIDI note 60, and then I can use like the higher notes to play you know, subsequent songs. So keeping those in mind, I'm now going to just dismiss this and go over to setlist mode. And then I'm actually going to perform the concert. So AutoPad is not visible. But let's start the setlist by pressing MIDI note 48. And we're not hearing anything. And that's just because we've entered the performance mode of the setlist. So now I'm ready to play the first song by hitting MIDI note 60. And that starts right up. Let's go to the second song. Hear that transition occurring. Go to the third song by hitting the uh, next note up. And last but not least, I'll press my stop action. Our setlist fades out. So, I mean, there you go. It's really easy. We don't even have to have AutoPad visible in order to control it. So, hopefully, this gives you some ideas about how to use AutoPad inside of your main stage concert. Uh, please 
you know, if you have questions, leave those as a comment below. I'll do my best to read and answer every one, but like I said, I'm not a main stage expert. And if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, uh, I make other iOS apps for musicians, and I document my progress. Please uh, like the video, subscribe, and um, make sure you have fun making music. I'll see you later.